Hey friends, salam and welcome to my channel. I hope you're all very, very well, safe and sound. So in today's video, I have got a few things lined up for you. First, I've got the Tesco haul, the grocery haul, and then I've got the, uh, well, it's sort of like a lockdown routine, which includes breakfast, lunch, and dinner, uh, as well as homeschooling. Um, yes, by the time uh, I upload this video, it would be end of term, so uh, officially here in England, it would be the start of summer, so schools would be officially closed. Before we go straight into the video, I just wanted to make it clear that this video has been shot over three different days. So without further ado, let's get going. So this was Sunday and it's shopping for a family of five. All in all, we spent £60, which is less than what we normally spend for our monthly shop at Tesco's. Um, however, we'd done a, a little shop earlier on at Liddell um, and they had loads of bargains and deals going on. They're pretty similar to Aldi. So we got these two packs of yogurt sticks, as I call them in my household, and they were a pound each. A tub of Molly's vanilla ice cream anchor butter our favorite for cooking and things and then hummus this is the red pepper flavored one that i like very much a pack of strawberries for breakfast smoothies desserts and pancakes Now that's a pack of croissants, it's not the usual ones, these have extended date and they are a lot sweeter in taste. And then underneath I had a pack of cheese and onion walkers crisps. They were selling the baked beans individually, uh, we normally buy them in a pack of four. And that's Splendor, my favourite sweetener, I've tried so many other variety of brands but I always keep coming back to this one. And that's potato waffles. So we normally have them for breakfast, but my little one likes to have them for lunch as well. It's a pack of cones to go with the ice cream. And that's Hovis a thick slice white bread for the kids and multigrain bread for me and hubby. I absolutely love this bread, totally hooked on it. Try toasting it with any spread of your choice and it just tastes so, so good. And that's a pack of tortilla wraps for lunch, a pack of pepper, that's bell pepper as some people call it, and I've got them in red, orange and green, hot noodle, chicken and mushroom flavour. They were selling them individually as opposed to packs of four and it was for a pound. We go through a lot of mayonnaise and uh, tomato ketchup. This one is the Hellman's light version. A bunch of bananas. We'd got some fruits and veggies earlier in the week from Liddell, as I mentioned earlier on. Now, this is McCoy's crisps. It was on offer. In fact, they've, they've had that for offer for weeks now since lockdown. Uh, but one thing I find, even though the crisp, the flavors are really nice, um, they don't seem to have much of it in each pack. So if you do shop in Tesco's, do bear that in mind. So that was two packs of eggs and ground sweet cinnamon. I love my cinnamon. It's so good on porridges, pancakes, and I even have it in my coffee as well. And that's crushed chili. Chicken drumsticks. There's a good number of uh, pieces in there, all for five pound. Um, I think it's about 12 or 13 pieces altogether. Drumsticks are very easy to cook and pretty versatile. You can grill them, roast them, fry them, and even include them in curries. Now that's a pack of three whole chickens, all for £10. Chicken breasts, that's seven pieces all together, and that was £11. A pack of frozen mixed fruits for smoothies in the morning. whole milk and a flash this was just the pound and it works like magic
So if you're wondering if I'm going to cook all of this poultry in one day, no, of course, I certainly won't be. Um, we are just the family of five. What I usually do is take out what I need to cook for the day and then freeze the rest. So I'm going to be cooking one of these chicken today um, and sharing a really quick and easy recipe. So I've taken the breasts uh, the chicken breasts out of the uh, packaging, the original packaging, and put them in bags like this, um, separated into three uh, three portions for each meal. Um, and this is what I normally do every time I freeze. You can, of course, use Ziploc bags or have a light, or you can actually put that whole thing inside the free freezer if you like. But it means when it comes to defrosting, you'll you'll have to use them all. The next day, this is Monday, early in the morning, and I like to start the day with my prayers, followed by a black coffee with a teaspoon of sweetener, and then a little exercise, something that I have incorporated into the routine since lockdown. And then I had a few dishes left inside the sink, which I washed and laid out to dry quickly. Um, and now it's time for breakfast for the family. Um, it's a lot more chill than it is normally on a school day. And this is my breakfast with another cup of black coffee. And all dressed and set for the day. So normally the three boys, my older two boys and the little one and myself will all do the exercise together and we tend to do the Joe Wicks exercise. But today is just my little Baba on his own. His brothers were busy with Zoom meetings and other assignments. That was watermelon, which we shared between us. So I printed these worksheets out from Twinkle uh, for my little Baba, that's Cameron. But um, he didn't show that much of an interest with these worksheets. I even had this book which we purchased for him um, and the concentration level just wasn't there even though it was a lovely colourful book. Doing similar sort of work on the tablet was by far um, a lot better and the attention level was just amazing. briefly for a little fresh air and a walk. I normally like to keep the camera busy with something whilst I prepare lunch for everyone. So that's me and my three boys. Hubby is obviously at work. That's a nice healthy wrap with a slice of mango, melon and strawberry. To lunch, it was back to work with online tasks and Cameron decided to sit with his brothers for a little bit before it was time to do a bit of art and craft and fun activities to finish off the day.
so I quickly needed to head over to Halford. It's time for dinner and I've marinated some chicken in a bit of salt and mixed curry powder and I'm going to quickly shallow fry them on both sides. That's five really small onions and I've just uh, coarsely sliced them up. That's crushed ginger garlic, a couple of bay leaves and I've also added some salt according to taste. Cooking on medium flame, saute until golden brown. Teaspoon each of Kashmiri chilli powder, turmeric powder and mixed curry powder. As you can see this is a very quick and easy way of cooking the chicken without the gravy. It tastes really really good especially with rice or even pulao. You can of course by all means serve it with roti or chapati. I must say it tastes even better when you serve it with a little Mr Naga which is a Bangladeshi pickle. To be warned if you don't like hot and spicy food then avoid the pickle or go for something a bit more mild, such as lime or mango. Finally garnish with some fresh green chilies and or with coriander leaves. Cameron is not too keen on rice but I keep trying. It's Tuesday morning and we are having French toast for breakfast. That's eggs, sugar and a pinch of cinnamon. Whisk it all together and then dip the bread in and fry with a little butter.
After breakfast, it's time for a little exercise routine by the usual homeschooling activities, a bit of life skill. The older boys have been helping me out in the kitchen, involved with making lunch and dinner, as well as taking on new activities. So my eldest has just completed a virtual work experience week with one of the companies. And um, my middle child has just recently learned to ride a bike. So my older two boys are quite close in age and they're both in secondary school now and have been set tasks online every week by their subject teachers with deadlines that they have to meet. Having a routine has really helped during this lockdown setting a structure to the day. And that was our mid afternoon snack slices of pineapple pepper with some hummus Dinner was meat with chickpea curry served with some parathas. If you're wondering, that looks pretty spicy. How on earth did Cameron eat this? Well, he didn't. I tend to have a substitute ready whenever we have spicy food. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video and if you did don't forget to hit the like button and if you're joining me for the first time I'd love to have you on board subscribe to my channel uh, to watch new videos each week with new contents until next time folks take care see you soon